Brock was about five foot two when he was in kindergarten. And then for high school, he was seven foot. Monster! I hopefully <laughs> want to work for uh, sporting goods stores. Have my own job. My name is Brock Brown, and I landed my first job at the YMCA. Brock is a great young man. Um, he was born with Soto syndrome, which is a genetic disorder. It causes him to be very large. He's now over seven foot tall, seven eight, seven nine. We're not quite sure. It's hard to measure him due to the fact that he can't stand up straight and straighten out his knees. He doesn't complain. He's in pain a lot of the time. Um, he wears out easily, things like that but he doesn't complain about anything. I get to go swimming today. Even though it's not on the schedule. You ready for work? Mm-hmm. All right, well, you got your shoes on, good job. You know, he doesn't fit in a bathtub, he doesn't fit in a movie theater, he doesn't fit in a vehicle but he will get in the smallest spaces and, and ride, you know, wherever we need to go. It's the only way you fit in my car, isn't it? Everybody's always amazed at Brock. First of all, it's his height, obviously, and his stature. He's, you know, over seven foot tall and he's 500 pounds, so he, he's very noticeable. They would be like, oh, you're that guy on the TV. And I'd say, yeah, I would, I'm that guy. Brock just got a job at the YMCA here in Jackson, and we're all very excited. I think he obviously is more excited, but um, he went in to get a membership because he loves to swim. And as he was leaving, Sean Atello, she is the CEO down at the YMCA, offered him a job. I feel really good about having a job, and. They, they're pretty nice to me. They, uh, sometimes one of them says, hey, how you doing today? And the other one say, hi Brock, how you doing? And stuff like that. It's very important for Brock to have a job because he has always had a hard time, um, just in, in general, throughout life. Uh, he has some special needs, uh, not only his his physical state but his mental state and he hasn't always been able to hang around with a lot of people you think of your typical 22 year old and they like to go out they a lot play sports um, Brock has a hard time with some of that so this job just gives him another sense of being an adult having some responsibility and more interaction with people so I've known Brock for a couple months now since he started working at the YMCA he is funny, he's humorous, he loves to joke around, and um, he's a really fun guy to work with. Brock comes on Saturday mornings and he sets up a table and he checks in the families and the kids who are here for sports, and um, he just uh, gives them a high five, welcomes them to the Y, and is just that dependable, familiar face that kids see every week. Mobility has decreased a bit. He has um, continued to grow a little, and he's, you know, not only in height, but in weight and things like that. And so that does take its toll on his body. He's, we're trying to work on eating habits and get that in line so that it will help him overall. My family, they do good by me and everything, and and they helped me out with stuff. His mom was a single mom most of his life, and so, you know, we tried to help her whenever we could, um, just with different things. My sister is in the hospital. Um, she has been for almost three years now, and so that's been pretty difficult for him. So, you know, we all just have to pull together, and, and we have to, you know, be there for him and, and try to make it as good as we can. Brock and I have always been very close.
but I think we've always just kind of had a special bond. You know, he, I'm probably one of the few people that he listens to really well, <laughs> even though I'm two and a half feet shorter than him. Brock is a survivor and he, in his 22 years, has overcome a lot of challenges. He, he's just a very forgiving soul. He's a very kind she soul and he, he just loves everybody. My hope for the future would probably be make cash. <laughs> probably be uh, like owning my own business or even a restaurant or something. I'm just getting this job is the first step. And I think that we're gonna see great things from him. I hope that as he continues to learn more and more about the YMCA, that he's able to find other things that he enjoys as well.